So before the actual gameplay begins, I wanted to show you guys a little clip that I got here in Modern Warfare 2. So, nothing big, right? We're here on sub base using the FAMAS. I'm on the top of the map. I'm close to earning my kill streak. So what do I do? Well, I spot this guy in the corner. I make sure I don't shoot until I get a clear shot at him. Uh, there you go. Take him out. Get my Harrier. So I'm going to drop these babies down low. And uh, you guys got to see this coming up. Oh, this is good. Just wait. Just wait. Hey, I'm just too hyped to show you guys this. So I'm about to walk down the stairs, right? No one in that corner, right? Right? Oh my! Oh, what a beast! What? What a beast! Good spot! Great aim! Oh my goodness! I'm so happy that little corner is there for people to sit in. Anyways guys, play my intro and we'll get to the real game. Hello and welcome to Modern Warfare 2. My name is Aeroshot. Oh, please, thank you, thank you, you're too kind. Here we are, using the FAMAS on high rise. Now I actually get the nuke this game, can you believe it? Arusha gets a 25 kill streak. That happened, like, what, once in Advanced Warfare? Something about everyone moving around everywhere is 350, 360 degrees of danger everywhere, so I don't know what's going on in that game. But here we are back on the Xbox 360, man. I actually had to reconnect this thing. And the reason I'm playing Modern Warfare 2 is because one of my good friends, Mr. O'Rays, he's actually a YouTuber like myself, so his YouTube channel will be in the description. I recommend you check him out because he's one of the few people I still watch. Um, but he was like, yo, Aeroshot, I missed the Modern Warfare 2 games. You know, I missed seeing that on your channel. And I was like, you know what? You're right. I miss it too. So thank you, Arrays, and here we are, back on the 360. This is actually in 60 frames per second, so if you are on Google Chrome, you will actually be able to see this, basically how I'm playing it, 60 frames in 720. So I uh, hope you guys can enjoy this video. But I had a topic today that I wanted to address, and that was, I don't care what game you have, I don't care if it's Call of Duty Advanced Warfare 7, I don't care if it's World at War 42, I want noobs. <laughs> When it comes to Call of Duty, I don't think Call of Duty is fit for skill-based matchmaking because so much of Call of Duty is who sees each other first and because of that, there's a lot of camping that goes on. It's a lot of sitting in one spot looking in an area like we saw in my opening clip. So I don't think the whole skill-based matchmaking thing works. Um, but uh, besides that, that's not what I really want to talk about. I just want to talk about how much fun you have when you're playing a game that is filled with players that are not as good as you. Yes, it's fun to have a competitive game once in a while when you're playing with your buddies and you go down to the wire. Yes, that's brilliantly fun and I love it. I love cheesing on the noobs. But, finding a noob lobby where you put up a ridiculous score like 40 kills and zero deaths, that will always be super fun in Call of Duty. Always, okay? And, uh, you know, it's really, it's not dependent on the game because I, right now, I said I don't like Advanced Warfare that much. Um, really, I don't like the movement and the fact that people can be anywhere and everywhere. And I, I feel like I could barely earn UAVs in that game. Um, but if all of a sudden, like, I snap my fingers, pull a little Houdini out of my fish, and I get 40-0 gameplays every single time in Advanced Warfare, I'm dropping DNA bombs like they're dimes on the street. Heck yeah, I would love Advanced Warfare. I'd be like, oh, this movement technique is really where it's at. Call of Duty is doing great. They're doing a great job. Great innovation. You know, I would turn into like a, some nerd who just loves the game. But I don't love the game. Um, I don't get the beast scores. Um, I mean, I have decent KD. It's like 1.6 maybe. I don't know. Who cares, right? Who cares about KD? But the thing is, I just want the noobs, man. When it comes to Call of Duty, just give me the noobs. Activision, just give just give me the noobs, give me the give me the noob lobbies, right? And I hope I'm not speaking for myself here. Um, a lot of people, we that's the whole lobby searching, right? A lot of people's gripes in Advanced Warfare is, oh, you know, these lobbies are too competitive. Even Nade Shot, the Nade Shot was like, you know, like I have to try so hard in the public matches. Um, is that a bad thing? I I don't know. It's it is what it is, right? But I do miss. It's not so much that I miss the old games, and yes, the Nuke music is playing in the background, I know you guys missed that. It's not so much that I miss Modern Warfare 2, it's not so much that I miss Black Ops 1, even though those were phenomenal games. Uh, it's just, the experiences I had playing them, like with friends and stuff, those were great, but it was also had to do with not every game being super crazy. It's just, Beasting on Noobs will forever be fun. It, it will be fun as long as Call of Duty exists, this style of game. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you so much for watching. 
My name is Zero Shot, and I am over and out.